Good morning students. Today let us see the scope and recursions in C language. Right. What is a scope? A scope in any programming is a region of the program where a defined variable can have its existence and beyond that variable it cannot be accessed. So scope is your lifetime of the variable. Right. There are three places where variables can be declared in C programming language. So normally we'll be, defi we'll be defining the variables in the main and then in your functions. So inside a function or a block which is called local variables, outside of all the functions which is called global variables. In the definition of function parameters which are called formal parameters. Local variables. Variables that are declared inside a function or block are called local variables. They can be used only by statements that are inside that function or block of code. Local variables are not known to functions outside their own because it is um, life lifetime of that local variables will be within that function only. The following example shows how local variables are used. Here, here are all the variables a, b, c are local to main function. So if you see this example, I have main, I have given a, b, c, I have initialized the value as a as 10, b as 20 and I have c equal to a plus b. Right. So now if you want to display the value, I'll get value of a 10, b 20, c 30. So the scope lies within this main function. Global variables, right? Global variables are defined outside a function usually on top of the program. Global variables hold their values throughout the lifetime of a program and they can be accessed inside any of the functions defined for the program. A global variable can be accessed by any function. The following programs show how global variables are used in a program. So if you see here before the main I have given int g. Inside the main I have given two variables it is local a comma b and I am assigning the value as 10 and 20. Now that in the g global variable I am adding this a plus b. So you are getting the answer but here compared to the previous program here uh, g is global variable because we are declaring it before the function outside the function. Let us see recursion. The process in which a function call itself directly or indirectly is called recursion that is in a short and form we say recursion as a function calls itself. The data structure used for recursion is stack. Any function which calls itself is called recursive function and such function calls are called recursive calls. For example, recursion may be applied to sorting, searching and traversal problems. Let us see an example for factorial. So you have the first line hash include stdio.h. So in the main I declare a number and the resultant value I declare as long in. I, from the user I get the number so using address operator ampersand I get the number now I am calling the function factorial right I am passing this number let us assume the number is 6 now what will happen is it, it will check whether the number is 0 right so if, since it is not 0 it will go to the else part I will get 6 into fact of 5 so once again the function will call itself now now fact of 5, now it will be 5 into fact of 4, then 4 will be 4 into fact of 3, 3 will be 3 into fact of 2, 2 will be 2 into fact of 1, 1 will be 1 into fact of 0, now fact of 0 will return 1. So the answer it will be multiplied okay with the value and finally we will get 720 as the answer. Right. So the function calls itself here in your recursive procedure. Now let us see GCD of two numbers using recursion. Now what is GCD? The greatest common divisor of two or more numbers is the greatest common factor number that divides them exactly. It is also called the highest common factor. For example, the greatest common factor of 15 and 10 is 5 since both the numbers can be divided by 5. Let us see an example now 20 and 40. The factors of 20 I have listed, the factors of 40 also I have listed. So what I am doing is I am finding A modulus B right so I get the answer as 20 right so it means that 20 is a common factor let us see the recursive procedure right so I want to find in the main I am getting from the user the GCD of two numbers I am invoking that function GCD so if any of A or B is 0 I should return the respective value itself A and B otherwise I am invoking GCD of B comma A modulus B because definitely one number will be divisible by other okay so finally what will happen is we'll get the result as 20 so in a very simple manner using recursive procedure we are finding the gcd of greatest common divisor of two numbers thank you students